Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get started. Hello? Okay, okay, George will be out in a moment, but before we get started, we want to get an idea of some of the questions you will be asking. Yo, yo, can you go Windows over the Windows or Mac? Okay, okay, okay. everybody, boxes. please, what not all at once. Do you recommend? This is nuts, this is not working. You're right. Please, please, people. Let's just bring out George. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, George Widom. Hi, this is George Woodham reporting from Woodham's World. Thanks for joining me for another episode. This week's question comes in from Bill Cleveland, and he asks, George, I use Twisted Wave as my recording software. I've voiced and edited several hundred auditions. Like most voice talents, I do many things to reduce mouth noises, water, sprays, green apples, etc. The click or smack between words is easy to deal with most of the time, However, when I have one embedded within a word, I find it very difficult to identify it in waveform and then attempt to remove it without damaging the recording. Any suggestions? Uh, That's a real good one. Mouth noises and clicking has just kind of been a theme, I think, for me this last few days. Uh, I've worked with several clients that have problems with it, and we've dealt with it a few different ways. So first of all, you do mention the fact that you have tried some of the many techniques that we in the voiceover world talk about when it comes to reducing mouth noises, mouth sprays, drinking room temperature water, green apples, uh, brush your teeth, oral hygiene is very important, being under low stress, uh, being relaxed, not nervous, all these things can help to reduce, reduce or completely remove mouth noises. And uh, all of us have them. In fact, you're probably hearing some from my voice right now. It's very common. So how do we reduce these or remove them completely? Well, let's show you a sample of a, some audio recorded uh, that ha- does have some mouth noise issues in it. And let me hear what it, let you hear what it sounds like as is. It's- More than an LED backlight, it's light shining when it's needed most. Not just high contrast ratios, it's fine tuning each pixel and high capacity ports for extreme frame rates. More than it. Now, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. But when you listen to it more closely, especially with headphones on, you start really noticing the mouth noises popping up at you. If I zoom in closer and twist a wave here, you can start to see where the mouth noises actually are are visible in the waveform. But it usually doesn't really come out drastically until you zoom vertically on the waveform by using vertical zoom. Then you can see these little spikes sticking up all over the place. And those are your telltale mouth noises. Now, as Bill explained, it's not so hard to remove them when they are between words. Uh, you know, it's not a, it's not a, it's a pretty simple task to simply go in there and isolate a a mouth click. Let's say we're going to remove this one here. And since they have such short duration, you can just simply select the, the actual mouth click itself and delete it. And let's say I'll remove both of these here, these two mouth clicks. And again, because it's such a short duration, you can re- delete them without really affecting the, the rhythm of the read too much. So, without the mouth clicks. Fine tuning each pixel. And with. Not just high contrast ratios, it's fine tuning each pixel. There's where the edits were. Tuning each pixel. And tuning each pixel. And then I'll, un- I'll redo my edits. Tuning each pixel. So, you can go in there and edit mouth clicks manually. Uh, between words and phrases very, very easily. But when the clicks start occurring mid-word, during a word, between syllables, or during a phrase, it can be extremely difficult to isolate and remove clicks in those situations. So Twisted Wave is very limited in its ability to denoise or de-click audio without adding uh, software from third party. There's just no way, two ways about it. It's a very affordable program that just uses the software that comes on the Mac, the Apple Audio Units plugins. Adobe Audition, on the other hand, does have some much more powerful 
denoising and declicking tools, one of them called Auto Heal. So, you know, you've kind of got two ways to go. Uh, you can either invest in Adobe Audition, which used to be like a $300 to $350 program, but now it's a about $20 a month uh, software license that you purchase through their Creative Cloud Suite. Um, or you can try a third-party program that does an excellent job at declicking called Isotope RX. And I happen to have that plugin right here. So I'll go into my effects units and bring up the Isotope RX2 declicker. And they are up to version RX3 now. That's the latest version. And uh, I'll show you the way this declicker tool can really make a difference. So I find that using the M band random clicks is a very useful setting that seems to work really well with mouth noises. And I have the sensitivity control here. This is where we really need to fine tune to remove just the clicks, but without taking out too much of the words themselves. So let's see what happens when we audition the audio playing through this plugin. And notice there'll be a bit of a delay as it buffers because it uses a lot of CPU power to declick. More than an LED backlight, it's light shining when it's needed most. Not just high contrast ratios, it's fine tuning each pixel and high capacity. Now it's not flawless, but it removes the vast majority of the small mouth clicks that you heard before. Now, if I go in here and change it to output clicks only, let's let you hear what's actually being uh, removed from the audio. Pretty trippy, huh? You can hear these little clicks and pops, but nothing else. So that's actually what it's removing from the audio. And in that short sample of sound that was, what, uh, 12 seconds long, it removed 51 clicks. So it's, it's pretty remarkable what it's doing. And through, you know, some very complex algorithms and software coding, it's deciding that those things are things you do not want in the audio and removing them for you. So things like RX uh, are definitely, you know, expensive investments if you're not a serious voice actor or at least a beginning voice actor or you're just uh, getting started. You're probably not going to invest in something like this. But if you do a lot of auditions or you're a pretty busy voice actor and you find yourself spending entirely too much time declicking your audio tracks despite all your best efforts to reduce mouth, mouth noises, this could be the solution for you. It's not for everybody, but many of you may find this to be a very worthy investment. Um, currently on the market, the RX3 software at full price, if you download it from isotope.com, it's going to be run you around 350 bucks. So a pretty dear investment, but you know, you have to say to yourself, how much is my time worth? How much time am I wasting and how much more work could I be doing? if I wasn't declicking these things manually. So that's my suggestion for those of you who are dealing with a lot of mouth noises and just can't stand manually editing them anymore. So thanks for watching. Uh, I'm glad to answer your questions. If you'd like to have your question answered on a Widom's World episode, please do send it in to widomsworld at edgestudio.com and uh, I'd be happy to get to it as soon as I can. And if you'd like more one-on-one -on -one support or something where I can serve you directly and solve your problem more timely, uh, definitely go look me up over at vostudiotech.com. Check out, if you just need phone support, you can see Get Support Now. Or check out the support menu for all the different services that we have available and the tutorials that you can check out as well. So thanks again for watching. This has been George Whittem for Whittem's World. And I'll see you guys next week.